Many believe that the Malaysian dual education system will need to be re-looked at. Some parents quietly feel that the dual school system contributes to racial polarization, as stereotyping is reinforced when children of the same race dominate a school, especially at a young and impressionable age. One is that there's a lack of socialization intermingling between children and even students of other races, of all races. So that is not a very good point. Now, for example, if you're in a class situation, when you get to meet and mingle socially with people from other races, that tends to help with social bonding. It helps you with cultural exchange. It helps you to understand the background of another person. Right? So definitely, it does contribute to that. But secondly, is it a reason? Uh, well, I don't think it's a reason. It's not something that communities want to defend, communities want to protect, so that the society continues to be compartmentalized. It's not something that we created with that intention. Right? And I can give you an example. Prior to 1970, when Thai English medium schools were allowed, about 71% of students actually attended uh, the uh, English medium schools. All right. It shows that uh, it's not your mother tongue. As long as you get what you wanted from the school, uh, people still go for the schools. Right. Obviously, it's, it, it, it obviously is the system. Yeah, our education system at the moment is completely flawed. Whether we like it or not, for the last 50 years, we have had a sort of quasi laissez-faire type of education system. They do not want to send their children to, uh, to national schools. You see why? Because you see the, from the Indian perspective, it is more of cultural and religious you see, reasons. Whereas the Chinese look at it more on a qualitative basis. You see what kind of quality education they can get. Namma palige namma culture apredi palikela. Aungalu namma culture apredi palikela thella. Abey yallar me angu oru culture arkaanga. Abey yallar thena matra rendu culture anga arrange pochi. Ida thena angu marukro. Yallar culture ani kaapatha thenga nanga solro. Oru kuri patta culture arrange chitte innor kar innor kuri patta culture kaapatha thenga. Yallar culture me ande namurey munnor kal urva ke kudu thakkara oru gems. The culture has to do with the family, how you are brought up. The teachers don't spend much time uh, transmitting knowledge about culture. Uh, for example, even, in, even today, uh, there are Indians who still marry according to caste. They will not marry across the caste. And, uh, I'm told that here the Salonese boys and girls don't mix with Indian boys and girls. You see? Uh, that has nothing to do with, uh, with uh, the teachers. It has everything to do with the family. But if you talk about me in terms of the real tradition of Chinese per se, uh, I'm sorry to say I don't know a lot of it. Now, is it to say that I'm less Chinese or I'm less Malaysian? No, I am a Malaysian Chinese. Okay? Now, to say, um, am I rooted in my culture? Yes, I am. But in what context is that uh, rooted in the culture? I don't really speak Mandarin that well. Now, is that a part of a root? No. Uh, no. You know, being Chinese or being what? It, it's a much larger picture than just speaking Mandarin, uh, praying a certain way, uh, you know, it's, it's not that, is it? I think that if we are going to um, measure a person's Tamilness or Chinese-ness by, um, by what they know of their historical uh, past, then we are going to be uh, in trouble simply because most young Malaysians don't know anything. They only know malls, consume mass consumerism, right? Um, they may know Shah Rukh Khan, but they certainly do not know Yang Kui Fei and all these uh, uh, stories which my grandmother to uh, uh, taught me in Hokkien, you know? So I don't understand why one cannot be Chinese, uh, to have Chinese culture uh, just simply because one doesn't speak Chinese. I think 
on both sides of the of the education system, uh, regardless of uh, uh, all the issues involved, I think the number one problem has to deal with the quality of the education system. Uh, the 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 country has been so so absorbed by the debate over language, by the debate over protecting culture, by the debate over keeping the quality of Chinese, of Tamil, of Malay at the highest possible levels. So our, our education system has been dominated by language nationalists. No, nothing wrong with wanting top quality languages. I, I have no problems with wanting the language of our students, the language skills of our students to be top quality, but not at the expense of everything else. I think the whole 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 political culture in Malaysia has created an environment where the language nationalists, uh, their demands and goals win supreme at our schools, national schools, vernacular schools. In national schools, you need Malay. The the, the type of Malay you learn today is you know, my, my 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 friends with uh, kids in standard one two three. That is is. It's it's they are, they are no longer enjoying the language. They are just really pushing them to the to the to the maximum skill standards and so on. So it's very language driven. I think what has been lacking is the skills as well, uh, skills in other subjects, the content in other subjects, the critical thinking, analysis element of the of the students that has been totally and completely forgotten. Uh, and we need to bring those back. There has to be a balance. I think the bulk of Malaysians, uh, while they want their kids to be competent in their language skills, I think they don't want that at the expense of all other skills. Okay, and what, what, that's what is actually happening today. Some deny that the dual system have contributed to racial polarization and blame this on the country's ethnic-based political party system and government policies. These discriminatory policies, such as access to college and university education, job opportunities in the government sector, poor career advancements for those already in government, they say serve only to alienate the non-Malay population. Actually, the government is the root cause of the polarization. Simply that is not the education system. The government's policies influence through the education system further polarizes. For example, let us abolish vernacular system. Does it guarantee uh, a, a, a integrated society? My answer is very simple. It will not. In fact, in fact, if you abolish uh, vernacular system, you will deprive uh, deprive the minority communities of their own culture so much so that you will actually further disintegrate these people, and they will lose their confidence, and they will lose their cultural identity, and they'll become more. Uh, they they will be filled with greater uh, what we call resentment against the state policies and they may became they will they can even become further alienated from the mainstream development i think there is a danger of greater polarization if you remove polar, uh, vernacular schools because it affects the root root of the psychic makeup of individuals they seem to forget that they are all nationals of this country some of them behave like they are outsiders because if you as I told many people, uh, while I am preaching integration all the time, politicians seem to be preaching separation. They are saying they should remain separate. We are going to separate schools, learning under different uh, types of environment. You see? And uh, they think that when children grow up, after having been uh, unexposed to other cultures, they can easily overcome the, 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 the uneasy feeling they have when they meet people from another culture. Uh, I don't think either they are very ignorant or they are just pretending to be ignorant.